Wright is with us. He is our newest Dina Green uh, prodigy, and uh, he's in here to tell us all about our lawn and our lawn care. Davis Wright, welcome back, Big Five Fifty KTR. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, what is all this rain doing to our yard? Well, to be honest with you, at the moment, it's not doing really anything detrimental to it. Um, obviously, the grass is under a lot of stress. We're supposed to be getting anywhere from you know like five to eight inches of rain all together. Right. Um, it could lead to problems uh, later down the road once it starts drying up. We could start to see some lawn diseases pop up, some uh, some funguses in your yard. If that's the case, uh, we've got some products in the Dyna Green uh, product line that can help you with that. They are the go ahead. right. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Because of all this rain, a lot more weeds. Yes, potentially. Um, at the moment, I would say um, you, you're probably not going to notice them now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when it starts drying up and the, the temperature starts to rise, yes, more weeds um, for sure. Just kind of two obvious things that people some might not think about. Uh, if you have an automatic lawn si or lawn sprinkler irrigation system, right. get that turned off. Right. Obviously, your yard doesn't. And then some people are crazy about mowing their grass all times of the year. Yeah, uh, don't mow your grass or try to. You're going to do it a lot of harm. You're going to compact your soil. Um, like I said, your grass is already under a lot of stress trying to right. uh, get this water situation so, so, squared away. So let it grow. Yes, let it grow. Um, and wait till it dries out a little bit. Wait till it dries out and then, then go back and mow it. Yeah. Okay. All right. How long should we wait to let it dry out? Um, I mean, a couple of days or? Yeah, a couple of days for sure, uh, especially with the amount of rain we're getting. Right. Um, I kind of uh, have been hearing that the uh, the precipitation is going to kind of taper off right. maybe later this weekend right. or early next week. So. Uh, all right. So uh, if I have a um, if I have a uh, weeds in my yard, how do I handle that? Uh, you should use the Dyna Green Step 2, which is known as the Long Lasting with Viper. Right. Um, it is essentially a weed and a feed. Um, so it's going to get it's gonna green you up over three to four months, but it's also going to take care of your broadleaf weeds like your dandelions, your chick bit, your clover, that kind of thing. If I have just a few weeds in my yard, what, what should I do? If you have a few weeds, um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting down the weed and the feed. Right. Uh, I honestly would have to kind of see your yard, you know, just to... To determine kind of what you have, the, right. the severity of it. If it's a few, I would say just spot spray it with something. Okay. Um, however, you could also, you know, kind of do a little hand. Uh, just pull it out. Yeah, just pull it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know, wait a minute, I got to pull it out. There's no, there's no chemical for that. Well, I do have a question about pulling out. Should you pull the weed or should you cut it? Good well, question. Well, um, you should pull it, but you want to make sure you get all the roots. I, honestly, I would probably spot spray it. That would be the way okay. I would go. Right. It's easier, obviously. Sure. I, so right. uh, spot spray would be my recommendation. But if it's a few, I really wouldn't worry about it. Usually the only time we recommend the weed in the feed is when you really have a severe weed problem. When they're out of control and you really need something to control that. Gotcha. So Diana Green number two with Viper if you've got 25% more weeds in your yard than anything else. Correct. Number two, still feed it every six weeks or so. Yes, sir. With the number two. Uh, talk about the team methyl and the eagle. Okay, so like we were talking a little bit earlier, um, with this rain, with the temperatures going to go up eventually, um, that's going to start causing some lawn diseases. So I have two products that I would recommend using in rotation with one another. The first would be a Dynagreen team methyl, right. which is essentially a systemic uh, granular fungicide. It's essentially a curative, so you need to have it. Put it on your lawn, it's going to take care of it. And then the other one that I would come back behind the team methyl two to three weeks later and put down is going to be the Dynagreen eagle. Can you put it down in this wet weather? Uh, don't put it down in the wet weather. No, let it dry out. Okay. It's it's uh, it'll work best if you apply it early in the morning when the ground is damp. Okay. It'll just adhere to the the leaf blades better. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, don't don't apply it to in this weather. It'll okay. leach out of your soil. All right. So we can get all of this at local independent lawn and garden dealers that supply Dynagreen. Correct. Yes, sir. And where do we find our local independent lawn and garden dealer that supplies Dynagreen? You can go to dynagreeninfo.com for all that information. If you have any questions, you can uh, post them there, and we will be more than happy to answer those for you. Can I go to a big box store and get Dynagreen? You cannot. No, really? Sir, you will not find it. Do not find it, even if I beg. No Lowe's, no Home Depot. You will not find it. No, the sir. Only local independent lawn and garden dealers. Correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all you need to know. If I have a question, can I go to dinegreeninfo.com? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Davis Wright, who knows all there is to know about green lawns. Uh, you were at my lawn the other day. It looked pretty good, didn't oh, it? Oh, man, it looked awesome. Right? right? Thanks to me. No thanks to me. <laughs> uh, no thanks to Dinegreen. No Dinegreen. No, it's, it's all thanks to Dinegreen. And my neighbor's lawns look pretty good, too, right? They do. You got the, the whole block looking good. They're all, they're all using Dinegreen as well. All right, for all the information for the greenest lawn on the block, Dinegreen or dinegreeninfo.com. Attention deer hunters! 